Hi kids, today we're going to take a virtual tour of the Gettysburg, Battle, Gettysburg Battlefield. Uh, and we're going to start first with uh, where the 1st Minnesota Regiment was on June 3rd, 1863. Uh, the 1st Minnesota was located outside of Fredericksburg, Virginia. And so our first stop here is zooming in to uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia. <clears throat> okay, so uh, this is where 1st Minnesota was located on June 3rd. And as we continue to move, they marched, and by June 15th, they were located just north of Fredericksburg, about in this location here. And then as we continue to move north with the 1st Minnesota Regiment, uh, June 17th, this is two days later, uh, in this location, uh, not far from uh, Manassas, where the Manassas Battlefield is located. You can see Manassas there. And then getting close to the border of Pennsylvania and Maryland on June 29th and 30th. Now this is just a day before the Battle of Gettysburg uh, starts. And then we are just outside of the battlefield on the first day of the battle. Now I've paused it here because uh, the 1st Minnesota did not arrive on the battlefield to the evening of July 1st. And right now what you're seeing here, and we're zooming into the first tour stop, is the battle that took place on July 1st. Now I'm going to put a line here just so you can see where the first Minnesota, or not where the first Minnesota was located, but where the, the battle line was for the first day of battle. So right here is the Union battle line. Um, and we're going to focus on this area here called McPherson's Ridge, uh, the first stop here is at McPherson's Ridge, and we're going to pause here and take a look at some of these pictures. Now, here, uh, this is uh, a picture that I took. Uh, these are the, this is where the Union soldiers fired at the Confederates, marching down this road, uh, starting the deadliest battle in American history. And so right here is the Chambersburg Pike. If I were to zoom out here just a little bit for you, this is that same road that you just saw in the picture, located right here. <clears throat> Our next stop, as the Confederates came to this point on the first day of the battle, and they came right down this road, um, as the Confederates came here, the heaviest fighting took place right in this area called Willoughby Run. And the Union uh, Cavalry General, John Buford, was trying to hold off the Confederates as long as he could uh, until General Reynolds and his soldiers arrived. And luckily, General Reynolds arrived just in time. Now, as he got here, he pushed an attack into this area of trees called Willoughby Run, uh, but very soon after launching that attack, he was killed right on this spot. And so right here is a memorial where General Reynolds was killed on that first day of the Battle of Gettysburg. He was the highest ranking officer to be killed in the Battle of Gettysburg. So we'll zoom in here a little bit. Uh, we'll move to that stop next and then head over to our next so there's the Reynolds Monument, not far from where our first stop was there on McPherson's Ridge. And now the tour is going to take us to uh, a hill called Oak Ridge or Oak Hill. And uh, from this hill, the Confederates eventually gained a foothold and put cannon on top of this hill. Uh, matter of fact, you can actually see, oops, if I zoom over here, you can see where cannon are located to represent where the Confederate cannon were. Today, there's a memorial. Uh, that was dedicated on the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg. And so we're going to take a look at that memorial. Here is a picture of that memorial. It's called the Eternal Light Peace Memorial. Uh, but from this vantage point, the Confederates launched their attack on the first day of Gettysburg, uh, pushing the Union soldiers all the way back to the city of Gettysburg. And if I zoom out here, um, there's Oak Hill. The Union soldiers would have been here for a while, but then they would have been pushed back through the town of Gettysburg, uh, which you can see right here, and eventually back to the mountains that we're going to take a look at here in a second. <clears throat> okay. Our next stop is the Lutheran Seminary. The Lutheran Seminary was a location where General John Buford, the cavalry general who was trying to slow the, the Confederates down, uh, watched the first part of the battle take place. And he watched from on top here, right on top of this cupola. 
that you see here. And so uh, he watched from there, and he saw as John Reynolds' soldiers came to the battlefield. And his goal was to hold on to the high ground just south of town here, which we're going to be heading to next. And the reason he was heading to the, wanted to hold on to this high ground is because when he came through town, he saw these hills, little round top and big round top. And uh, this is what they look like. There's a little round top and big round top. He saw those hills and as well as the hills around the rest of the town. Um, so if I rotate here for you. So here's little round top right here, and then there's some other hills located right over here, as well as some high ground right here. And so all of this area, uh, he noticed and recognized and wanted the Union to hold on to uh, so that the Confederates would not be able to control that uh, high ground. Okay. So as we continue on, so after the first day of battle, uh, in the video that you saw, you, you saw that the Union formed a, the line formed the shape of a, of a hook. And so uh, let's take a look at what that looked like here. Um, so we'll show you the Confederate line and we'll show you the Union line on day two. So if I zoom out now, you can see the Union line in the shape of a fish hook on top of a hill here, on top of the round tops here. Um, this was the Union line at the start of the second day of battle. And then the Confederate line is all around it. Okay. So let's go back to our, our tour stop, the area of the 20th Main. Remember, 20th Main on that second day held the line and prevented Confederates from getting on top of Little Round Top. And so right in this area is where the 20th Main fought. And you can see there's a monument there for them. And right in these woods is where the 20th Main fought their battles. And we're going to pause right 